don't date black women now because of past experiences. They like to place that strong personality on you. And, and sometimes you just kind of, just like, you know, stay in a woman's place. So do you have any idea why you're here? We share, oh, yeah. we share some of the same opinions. Opinions. About? Why are black women so angry? Was your mother angry? To a certain degree, yes. She, she had that anger inside of her, but she made sure that she didn't pass it on to me. I see how she handles that, and she, she gives off that vibe that I get from women here. But when it came to me and how she approached me and taught me about women, she said, don't deal with this. That's interesting. Well, that's understandable, as we know our women, the so-called black woman, is combative. She's rude. She's out of control. She talks back. She want to fight you. She going through your phone. She following you around. She stalking you. You dead. Um, she broke. She lazy. She don't cook. She don't clean. I can go on and on and on with the demonic things that uh, the black woman pushes out into this world. She doesn't have any respect for the so-called black man. But here's the thing. That's going to change very soon. Because it's going to be curfews. It's going to be concentration camps. It's going to be martial law. It's going to be holy hell out here in these streets. It's going to be a police state. You dig? It's going to be sedition out here. Anarchy. Civil unrest. You know, where, you know, where people are uh, trying to survive. Killing to survive. You know, people eating out of trash cans, garbage cans. People eating their children. Cannibalism. Yeah, it's going to get real out here. You know? And you women all going to get in line. You know? So I understand why the man don't date and don't deal with the black woman. Why a lot of us don't date and deal with the so-called black woman. She out of control. And she don't have no hair. And she overweight. You know? And she don't know how to take care of her body. You know? So this is the book of uh, Isaiah 4 and verse 1. It says, and, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, you dig, and seven is the number of completion. So it can be more than just seven women. These women are going to get in line on this side. When this society truly breaks down, the so-called black woman going to finally give the black man, the Latino and Native American, the true Israelites, the real Jews, you're going to finally give us some respect, Jack, or you're going to die. It says, in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name. And we know that the, the man carries the name. So you're going to get in line. You're going to be submissive. You're going to be humble. You're going to be meek. You're going to be quiet. You're going to shut up. You're going to listen or you're going to die. To take away our reproach. So with that, I say Shalom.